The day marks five years since Kilauea volcano started erupting in Leilani's estates on the Big Island. The historic eruption went on for three months, destroying hundreds of homes and displacing more than 2,000 people. KITV4's Marissa Yamane takes a look back. It was May 3rd, 2018. A fissure opened up and erupted right in the middle of a subdivision in Puna. Just letting everybody know, eruption is happening in Leilani. We get some lava coming out right now. Look out of smoke. Big Island Civil Defense sounded the sirens and ordered everyone in Leilani Estates to evacuate. Most didn't have the time to get what they needed and were not allowed to go back. Just uh, basically heartbreak, you know. It's uh, my wife and I have been married, going on 26 years. It was pretty much our dream home that we've been looking for all this time. And, just knowing that we're not going to have a house, it might, the lava might take it, it's, my wife is still in tears. A lot of tears, an emotional time for many, not knowing what path Madame Pele would take. We're not panicked because we understand, we know exactly what is going on. I read it in my yard and prepare for her. I clean my house. You want to come, Pele? Come, come. This is your, I know. All right, let the nighttime fireworks begin. May 3rd was just the start of what would be a three-month-long eruption, sending up towering ash plumes and fountains of lava. Thousands of earthquakes rattled the island. I said my prayers to Pele this morning. I said these are good people. You know, in your, uh, whatever your mission is, uh, do no harm. No one was killed, but the lava ended up destroying more than 700 homes burning them and burying the properties. By early August, the eruption had almost completely subsided. Marissa Yamane, KITV4 Island News.